What if artificial intelligence and surgeons work together to make sure that surgery is done in the safest way possible? Hello, my name is Rekai Yilmaz. I'm a medical graduate who is currently pursuing a PhD at McGill University and conducting research at the Neurosurgical Simulation and Artificial Intelligence Learning Center. I develop intelligence systems to assess and teach surgical techniques using artificial intelligence and virtual reality simulation. Mastering technical skills is of fundamental importance in surgical disciplines like neurosurgery where mistakes in these high-risk procedures greatly affect patient outcomes and increase the burden of costs on healthcare systems. Advanced artificial intelligence applications are unfolding an unprecedented improvement in the way we use data. With data collected from surgical operations, computer systems become smarter and provide more detailed intelligent assessment of surgical performance. We developed the Intelligent Continuous Expertise Monitoring System, the ICMS for short, which includes a series of algorithms for continuous assessment of surgical performance, error detection, and real-time instruction. In this study, we describe how this intelligent system was developed and provide evidence for its predictive validation throughout a residency training program. Data from 14 neurosurgeons performing 83 simulated tumor resections and 12 medical students performing 72 simulated tumor sections were used to train a computer algorithm with real-time assessment capability at 0.2 second intervals. This algorithm was designed to learn surgical expertise by studying the way neurosurgeons perform surgery in comparison to the way students perform. After learning the difference, the algorithm's predictive validity was put to the test. 144 simulated tumor resections performed by 24 neurosurgery trainees were evaluated by the ICMS and we investigated if the ICMS was able to differentiate trainees' performance from neurosurgeons and medical students. We also investigated whether this system could differentiate between neurosurgery trainees, those who were more senior from those who were more junior in their training. All participants' simulation performance was scored by the ICMS at 0.2 second intervals on a scale that ranged from 1 to minus 1. Our analysis has shown that neurosurgeons scored significantly higher than senior trainees and junior trainees scored significantly higher than the students. Interestingly, the ICMS was ab also able to differentiate between the neurosurgery trainees where senior trainees scored significantly higher than junior trainees. Further analysis has shown a strong correlation where the trainees' performance scores increased by almost 5% per year of neurosurgery training. With further algorithms, the use of ICMS for risk detection and real-time instruction were shown to increase safety in the simulated surgical operations and help improve technical skills. This work presents an application for the continuous assessment of technical skills and provides the evidence for its predictive validity on trainee performance across a neurosurgery residency program. Future applications may involve the integration of such systems in real operating rooms to help surgeons in safer surgery and therefore improve patient outcomes. I think as we get closer and closer to understanding exactly how uh, a expert surgeon uses his hands uh, to perform an operative procedure. Uh, understanding the acceleration of instruments, the deceleration of instruments, the way that the expert focuses on safety during the operation, and also the way the expert becomes more and more efficient over time. I think this information will be moved into the operating room and we'll be able to not only, let's say, assess what's going on, but actually help this, the, uh, the surgeon be, an ex be a better surgeon. To learn more about this study, please have a look at the article published Open Access in Nature Digital Medicine titled Continuous Monitoring of Surgical Bimanual Expertise Using Deep Neural Networks in Virtual Reality Simulation. Our current work explores ICMS efficacy in real-time operative teaching in comparison to in-person human instruction. 
To learn about our research, please visit neurosim.mcgill.ca. Thank you.